Hello, friend. Thank you for tuning your dial once again to this broadcast. I greatly appreciate your listenership. Now, think about it. What day of the week is it? Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday? Ah, it's Thursday. And that means, at least for the next little while, that it's time for a thankful Thursday. You say we are about a month removed from Thanksgiving. What are we still doing these thankful Thursdays for? Well, friend, we might just do them till Jesus comes back because we can always find something to be thankful for. But I told you that if you folks, our listeners, keep responding with things that you are thankful for, then we will continue this mini tradition and you folks have come through clutch. Now, if you've already responded and you've already texted me something you're thankful for, you can do it again if you'd like to. But let me say this very quickly here at the outset. If you'd like to possibly be a part of this broadcast today or maybe even in the future, then you can text me. Say this, I'm thankful for and then you fill in the blank. Some people send a sentence. Some say a word. Some give me multiple paragraphs. The beginning of a book, I love them all. Doesn't matter. Whatever God lays on your heart and whatever you have time for at this moment. Here's my text number. You folks have been so amazing. I've got dozens and dozens to get through. I can tell you, we're not going to get through them all. I think right before New Year's, we'll have to do another thankful Thursday. But here we are, just a few scant days from Christmas, and we're going to talk about thankfulness. We're going to start with a lady in Wisconsin. But before we do that, I need to give you that text number. You ready? Here we go. 309-316-7240. I'm going to give it to you one more time because some of you were running for a notepad and a pen. Some of you were trying to type it into your phone while I was talking. Here we go. One more time. 309 3 Six, seven, two, four, zero. And just text me. I'm thankful for, and you fill in the blank. Here's what Elizabeth in Oak Creek, Wisconsin says. I'm thankful for our access to the throne of grace. Think about that for a moment. We don't have to go through any other intermediary than our Savior, Jesus Christ. His shed blood greased the skids. He is, his sacrifice on the cross some 2,000 years ago grants us access, as Elizabeth said, to the throne of grace. What a joy. What a joy. And she also followed up by saying this, Will you add me as a prayer warrior when you have prayer requests? Miss Elizabeth, thank you so very much, first of all, for responding with what you're thankful for. But number two, desiring to and preemptively, I haven't mentioned that in a while, I don't think, and maybe this is as good a time as any, but if you'd like to pray for our ministry, at times I'll send out not often whatsoever. If I've done it more than, I don't know, twice this year. Now we'll probably use it a little bit more next year because I'll be honest with you, I need your prayers, but it's not going to be once a week. It's not going to be once a day. To be honest, if you get a text more than once a month, I'd be surprised. But Elizabeth, thank you so much. Greatly, greatly appreciate that. Now let's find another one here. Aha, we're going way out west this time, all the way to Kennewick, Washington State. Hopefully I'm saying that right. Conrad says this, he's thankful for time with family. Praise the Lord. I, I've had the opportunity to spend some time, not only with my immediate family, but also my in-laws, my parents, and just that opportunity to allow my children to be, be around their papa and mimi and their grandpa and grandma. Just all of those precious moments, those memories. It's so amazing. Precious memories, how they linger, the song says. Thankful for time with family. Conrad, thank you for listening. All the way from Washington State. So we we have the, what is Wisconsin? That's the North Midwest, I guess, something like that. So we have Midwest or so. We have the West Coast. Let's see where this next one is from. And remember, if you'd like to get in on this, you can text me right now. It's not too late. Maybe we'll read yours sometime soon. Here's that number one more time. 309-316-7240. 309-316-7240. 
zero nine three one six seven two four zero three zero nine three one six seven two four zero thank you conrad from washington state i appreciate that so much where are we going next here here's a good one i'm so thankful for the blood of jesus christ you say hold up a second maybe you're listening right now and you don't know christ as your savior and you're thinking that sounds a little morbid that sounds a little odd what's up with that being thankful for blood well if you don't understand that Jesus Christ and his shed blood, his vicarious, meaning his substitutionary, meaning he died in our place on an old rugged cross some 2,000 years ago on a hill called Calvary. If you don't understand that Jesus Christ's shed blood provided remission of sins, he provided a way of escape from the condemnation of hellfire. If you don't understand that, then I can, I can understand why someone being thankful for blood might put you uneasy, make you a little wary of what am I listening to right now? But if you're a Christian and you know what I'm talking about, you know that the blood of Jesus Christ, his shed blood, oh friend, it's something to be thankful for. This is from Carolyn from Huron, South Dakota. We're going out in the Dakotas. Carolyn, thank you so much for that. Reminding us to be thankful for the blood of Jesus. Hmm. I'm thinking there's power, power, wonder-working power in the blood of the Lamb. Well, I won't sing for you this morning. It's a little bit early for all that, don't you think? Carolyn, South Dakota, thank you so much. Greatly appreciate that. Let's pick another one here. All right, we're going back close to Wisconsin where we started to Minnesota. And a gentleman named Paul says this, I'm thankful for his mercy and grace that renews itself every morning, and the thousand upon thousands of his blessings of which I am an unworthy recipient. That's a great reminder. We could spend years and years, centuries, millennia, tapping away with our thumbs on that little cell phone, composing a text, a magnum opus of our thankfulness. And truly, By the time we took our last breath, we still wouldn't be able to complete. By the time the sun burned out, we still could never complete all that we can and should be thankful for. God is so good. Paul from Minnesota, I'm thankful for his mercy and grace that renews itself every morning and the thousands upon thousands of his blessings of which I am an unworthy recipient. Praise the Lord. We got time for a couple more here. Remember, you can text in as well. Let's see what else people are thankful for on this thankful Thursday. Now, I'm not an odds man. I'm not a betting man. But I can imagine what the odds are that we have two responses from, of all places, South Dakota. There's not a whole lot of people in South Dakota. And we got two today from Lower Brule, South Dakota, Claudia says this, I'm thankful for good, godly music that can encourage us to worship God in spirit and in truth. And I I texted back and forth with her for just a moment, and she continued in a subsequent text, it's easy to get distracted from giving thanks, especially with the times that we're living in. Thankful and, and God bless your ministry and mission with gospel tracks and inspiring people with godly music. I don't know how much of an inspiration my music is personally, but I can tell you this. I enjoy music immensely. The opportunities I have to, to worship God in that way. I, I enjoy plunking around on the piano and singing a bit and singing in groups and singing with my family. Recently, my oldest daughter has begun to sing with me in church. Miss Emmy, she's being very brave. She's not being shy. Now, if you got to know her, you'd realize she's not really a wallflower whatsoever. She she has a big personality and all those things, but sometimes and when she's up in front of people, she can just get a little bit shy, a little bit introverted, but she loves to sing. And so she'll get up with me. I'll play the piano and I'll sing with her. And she does a great job remembering the words and all those things. So Claudia from South Dakota, our second one today from South Dakota, I can't imagine we'll have three. I don't know. We'll have to see. But 
thankful for good godly music. If you don't have good godly music in your home, can I tell you, you're missing something. You say, I just don't really listen to music at all. You need to find some good godly music. If you're looking for some recommendations, I can help you with that. We can get some good godly music to you. On that note, you know what? I'd love to, as a little Christmas gift, maybe if one or two or three folks text me, maybe we'll just send out a CD or something to you. I, I do have one or two that I'm actually on. I don't know if I want you to listen to those or not. Well, here's the good thing. Most of them are men's ensembles CDs. And so there's like 10 other guys in the group. And so they drown me out for the most part. So that's a good thing. Of course, I am jesting a little bit, but all in good fun. So Claudia, thank you for reminding me about music. I think we have time for maybe one more. Let's see here. Here's one from Karen from Peoria, Illinois. Here's what she says. I'm thankful for God's plan of salvation. But she doesn't stop there. She continues on. His mercy and grace and never failing love, his word, his church, my family, and friends. What a joy to hear from you, Miss Karen. And what a great list. We could all pick about five, six, seven, eight, all of the things off that list we should all be thankful for. I'm thankful for the plan of salvation, the fact that there was a plan in place, the fact that Jesus Christ, when he died for us, he was doing it with and for a purpose so that we could have access, as someone mentioned earlier, to the throne of grace. What a joy, what a joy. Now, we're drawing to the close of today's Thankful Thursday, but you still have a chance to be a part. You can text me, as always, 309 three one six seven two four zero three zero nine three one six seven two four zero text me i'm thankful for or maybe you have questions here we are approaching the christmas season but the work of god and the work of bible tracks incorporated still goes on. I'm excited to tell you more next week as we look towards very soon a new year. I'm excited to share with you the burden on our heart for what God is going to do with and through us, Lord willing. And so if you would, join us. Continue to listen to this broadcast. Thank you so much for listening today. Have a great day for His glory to your family from ours. God bless. Thank you for joining us today for Bible Tract Echoes, a ministry of Bible Tracks Incorporated. If you would like to receive a free sample packet of all of our tracks, you can contact us by calling 309-828-6888. That's 309-828-6888. Our mailing address is P.O. Box 188, Bloomington, Illinois, 61702. A faster way to contact us is to go to our website at BibleTracksInc.org. That's BibleTracksInc.org. There you will find more information about our ministry and details on how you can support Bible Tracks Incorporated. Thanks for listening, and may the Lord richly bless you as you serve Him.